So you guys are gonna have to access apps sometimes that are not already on the iPad. I hate to tell you this, but you do not have access to the App Store. So you're not going to be able to just willy-nilly download apps. What you're going to do to get to the apps that the school has already approved for you to have is you're gonna look for the self-service icon. And it is this one right here. And it is the green, blue, red, and yellow box. You're gonna tap on that to open it. You can allow the notifications, it really doesn't matter. And then this self-service service, um, terms of service is gonna come up and you're just gonna hit continue. And this may take a few minutes to come through. It's sometimes because there's a lot of stuff in here. And this is where every single app that the school district has approved has been stored for you. So if, for example, you wanted to try Duolingo and you wanted to try the free version, you would hit install. And it's going to think. And then eventually, after it goes through, and this may take a few minutes too, it's going to show up right here on your home screen. And then once that's finished loading, obviously, you'll be able to access whatever you want. Same thing, you just go back in and you can pick any of these. The good ones to have are gonna be Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Classroom, and Google Slides. Now, Google Keep is helpful because they can take like notes and stuff, but it's not necessary. Other than that, your teachers are probably going to have you choosing um, different apps that you will need in class. And also, of course, we're going to have your OverDrive apps. So um, you're going to want to pay attention to which apps your teachers or the librarian tells you to get.